Hello students, kamusta kayo? Shoutout sa inyo. So welcome again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna explain to you all about the population growth. So without the further ado, let's get started. So in order to find the population growth, we have here the exponential growth which is A equals to P times E raised to RT. Where A is the size of the population, P is the initial number of people, R is the rate of growth or it is in the percentage, and then T is the time, ito yung day, month, or years, and then E, ito yung Euler's constant, which is equivalent to 2.718. Now, let's have an example. The exponential growth model A equals to 30E raised to 0.02T describes the population of a city in the Philippines in thousands. So, pag take note, in thousands. Where T, years after 1995. The question is, what was the population of the city in 1995? The other question is, what will be the population in 2017? In order to get the population growth, so always memorize the formula of the exponential growth, which is A equals to P times E raised to RT. So ngayon, proceed na tayo doon sa first question na yun. So since our exponential growth model describes the population T years after 1995, so, we consider 1995 as t equals to 0. Kasi hindi naman siya nakadescribe doon kung ilang years. And that is 0 siya. And then, solve for a. And that is our population size. So, a equals to 30 times e weighs to 0 0.02 t. Then, a equals to 30 e weighs to 0 0.02. Substitute the given value of the t which is equivalent to 0. Next, a equals to 30 e raised to 0. Why it become x0? Because 0 times 0 0.02, that will be equivalent to 0. Very good. And then next, a equals to 30 raised to 1. Because any number that is equivalent to 0, or it is in the exponential form, and raised to 0, may be equivalent to 1. And that is 1. So 30 times 1, that is 30. So now, therefore, the city in population 99.5 was 30,000. So bagay naging 30,000? Kasi, Ang population na yun ay naka in thousands. So that's why mo imo multiply natin siya doon sa 1000 na yun. So that is 30 times 1000 if equivalent to 30,000. Very good. Now let's proceed to the next question. So B, we need to find A for the year of 2017. So to find the T, we just subtract 2017 and 1995 to get the years. And that is equivalent to 22. Very good. So 27 minus 1995 is equivalent to 22. And now, which we then plug into our exponential growth model. A equals to 30 times A raised to 0 0.02 times T. So what is the value of T? That is 22. So substitute the given value of T, that is 0 0.02 times 22, is equivalent to 0 0.44. So A equals to 30 times T is 0 0.44. So find the value of the Z E raised to 0 0.44, mayroon tayo sa kakaki dyan. Press Shift E, then raised to 0 0.44, and that is equivalent to 1.55271. And that is equivalent to P raised to 0 0.44. So now, let's multiply 30 times 1.55271, and that is equivalent to 46.5813. And now, Naka 1,000 siya, so mamotipnay natin sa 1,000. And that is, so therefore, the city population will be about 46,581 in 2017. So I hope that you understand what I have discussed. So stay tuned for my videos, and that's all for it for now. Bye!